Hey everyone, and today I'll be covering how you can actually use a VPN on your PlayStation, whether you've got a PS4 or PS5. Now since Sony doesn't allow VPN apps on consoles directly, it does take a couple of extra steps to get things working. But once you do, you'll be able to lower your ping, unblock region locked content, and keep your gaming more private. And just to make this as easy as possible, I'll show you the main methods people use to set this up, along with which VPNs work best on PlayStation. As always, you'll find any discount codes and full reviews linked in the description below. So so feel free to check those out if you're interested. So the easiest method is to install your VPN directly on your router. This way, every device connected to your Wi-Fi is automatically protected, including your PlayStation. ExpressVPN is usually the best option here since they actually have their own dedicated router. Aircof, which makes setup a lot more straightforward compared to VPNs that require manual configuration. If you do go the manual setup route, you'll just want to check your VPN's website for compatible routers, follow the step-by-step -step instructions they provide, and once it's installed, you're good to go. Now, if you'd rather not use your router, there's another method that works by sharing your VPN connection from a PC. This works with ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. You'll need to have the VPN installed on your computer and then connect your PlayStation using an Ethernet cable. On Windows, it's basically just a matter of connecting to your VPN, going into the network and sharing center, and enabling the option to share your VPN connection through the Ethernet port. After that, you'll run through a quick internet setup on your PS4 or PS5, choose the easy method, skip the proxy server, and then test the connection. It's usually pretty reliable, though every once in a while you might run into a driver or network issue. Now one of the main concerns with using a VPN for gaming is performance. Because a VPN routes your traffic through an additional server, there's always a chance it could increase your ping. So how much really depends on things like your location, the distance to the game server, and your base internet speed. In testing with ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark, the difference was usually pretty minimal as long as I chose a VPN server located close to the game server. Both NordVPN and Surfshark did really well in terms of keeping latency low, and ExpressVPN stayed consistently reliable thanks to its lightweight and WireGuard protocols. So the best practice here is simple. Pick the fastest VPN protocol available and connect to a server that's geographically close to the game server you're trying to play on. That way, you'll usually see little to no noticeable impact on performance. So now let's quickly go over the three VPNs I'd recommend for PlayStation. ExpressVPN is the most reliable choice choice if you want something straightforward and consistent. They've got more than 3,000 servers and 105 countries, excellent privacy protection with multiple independent audits, and their lightweight protocol makes connections feel really fast. A huge plus is their router app which is about as user-friendly as it gets, making setup easier than most competitors. NordVPN has the largest server network by far, with over 7,800 servers in more than 160 countries. Performance is excellent with their NordLynx protocol, and I only saw about a 3% speed reduction during testing. They also offer extra features like Threat Protection Pro, which blocks malware and ads, and specialty servers for bypassing censorship. Overall, Nord is a very strong option if you want speed plus advanced features. And finally, Finally, Surfshark is the best budget-friendly option. It's got around 3,200 servers in 100 countries, supports unlimited device connections, and includes useful tools like CleanWeb for blocking ads and MultiHop for double encryption. Even though it's priced lower, performance is surprisingly strong, which makes it great if you're after value without missing out on premium features. Now, to quickly recap, if you want the easiest setup and consistent performance, ExpressVPN is the way to go. If you'd like extra features and unbeatable speeds, NordVPN VPN is a great choice. And if you're after the best value in unlimited device connections, Surfshark is hard to beat. And in terms of setup, you've really got two main options. Either install the VPN on your router so everything in your home is protected, or share the VPN connection from your PC to your PlayStation with an Ethernet cable. Both work well, it just depends on which setup feels more convenient for you. So hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you did, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop those down in the comments below as I love getting to answer as many as I can. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.